Live BP Guru. Um, so for those who have watched it already, we did the game jam on Friday. Um, it was a 24 hour challenge where we had to kind of build our own game and we had to do everything ourselves all in house. So um, there's a couple of things I did in that game jam that I want to show off in sort of tutorials and stuff. One of them being this um, kind of force field door uh, effect. You've got like the rippling and things. Um, I wanted to kind of try and do this. Um, uh, sorry, let me rephrase. I wanted to do this in a tutorial uh, for you guys. There's a couple of other things I want to do in some of the other levels as well. So there might be a few episodes like this uh, over the next week. Just kind of explaining stuff that I did. Um, so this is just a material uh, that I made. It's a kind of force field material that I've, I've done a few times in the past and uh, I thought it would make good use of this for this door challenge. Um, so we're going to create a new material. We're going to call it uh, force. Oh, can I, did I write that? Uh, we're going to call this force field uh, toot just for now. You name it, whatever you want. Um, let's open it up. Okay. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is um, we want to click on here and we're going to make it surface. We're going to make it uh, translucent as well. There we go. Um, and then we're going to need uh, three, uh, two, three constant nodes um, to get our colors. So just hold down three and click for those. And the first one I'm going to do now, this is the color of the actual force field itself. So from, for example, in mine, you have that purple color, but this time let's go for something like a nice sort of um, darker blue, maybe like so. And then in this one, you want this just to be, this is like the outer rim of the, the color. So you, like I normally go for white, but you could go for a black color. You could go for like a yellow, maybe. Um, switch things up a little bit. We'll go for like a nice dark blue and yellow just to show a bit of a difference in the contrast. Um, so the next thing we want is if you hold down L, we'll get a lerp. Plug this into A and plug this into B. Uh, and the alpha is going to come from a Fresnel node. Uh, so just type in Fresnel and I'll bring this up and plug that into the alpha. Uh, we want to set our Fresnel, by the way, to... Uh, actually, no, those are, that is right. 5 and 0 0.04, that's, that's good. That's the default. Um, plug that into the emissive, like so. Now, obviously, we aren't finished yet. There's lots still to do. So, um, what we want to do now is the next thing is... But you can already see the effect it's having, right? Is that blue and that dark. It's already kind of giving you that force field look so you could almost stop here and have a very cool looking force field but we're gonna we're gonna continue on to get the full look of what we had so type in max and get a max node um put lug the fresnel into a um like so then we want a uh, depth oh depth fade like so and uh you can leave that at the defaults as well but we want to get a one minus node like so and then we can plug that into the b uh, but we're not finished yet um we still need to finish that this is all going to the opacity so we're going to copy and paste that max node and this is all going to go into the a and this will eventually go into our opacity like that so we just need to work out what the b is now uh, and that the, to work out the b well, what we're basically doing is we're getting that pattern now that's going to roll down here uh, and we're also going to get a gradient band, right? So we'll start off with getting our texture coordinate. Uh, oh, there we go, texture coordinate node. Uh, we're also going to make a uh, scalar parameter. So hold down S and click to get that. And I'm going to just call this UV size. And uh, I normally default this at about six. Uh, and what we're going to do is hold down M to get a multiply. And uh, don't forget to click, of course, um, like so. And then we're going to get a texture sample node, like so. And plug that in. And the texture we're going to use, uh, if we put in like hexagon, there we go, hexagon, like so, there we go. Uh, it comes standard with the engine, so I didn't consider that as cheating, but. Um, 
basically um, I just thought it came packaged with the content so I'm just going to use it to get that cool effect don't tell Barrow Games I guess <laughs> Um, well, the next thing we're going to want is a generate band, like so. And uh, we're going to plug that into here. And then we just need to work out like the width and the sharpness and all that kind of good stuff uh, from that. So let's plug that into the B as well. Um, there we go. We've got that already. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, so we need a width. No, we don't. Sorry. We need two scalar one I pressed D sorry S and S and the first one is going to be width the second one is going to be our sharpness um, now these are the figures you kind of want to play around with I found that width is good at like sort of 0 0.06 uh, sharpness is kind of good at 0 0.3 um, but plug those in uh, and you'll probably notice that it's not moving once it's uh, sorted itself out and that's because we need to add in a panner um, like so because you can see look, the band sort of sat there so once we plug this into the input coordinates it should start moving I may need to default actually these uh, to sort of zero uh, minus 0 0.02 so it moves down. Let's see what happens. And it's moving down very slowly. Um, but it is moving down. If you want to speed that up, I can change that to sort of 0 0.02 and that'll go a bit faster. There you go. It comes down and it's going a lot faster. Um, but again, if you want to speed it up, uh, just make it like 0. Uh, minus 0 0.1 now the reason I put minus in is because I want it to move down if I put 0 0.1 it'll move up Because it's moving the speed of y So it should there you go. It's moving a little bit faster now as well. So there you go uh, And that's it. This is done. And then if I uh, save and apply this and We move it onto one of our panels for example Um it should look pretty good. So if we grab one of my panels this time and um, we put this in here. Uh, oh, the other thing probably is um, no, that should be okay. Okay. Uh, which side is it? Oh, it's because I haven't made it uh, double-sided. But there you go. You've got the. Um, and the yellow will be there, it's just that it's in the wall a bit. If I make it smaller, you should be able to see the yellow maybe. Oh, maybe not, okay, fine. Uh, it's all gone purple, that's okay. Uh, oh, it's actually done the same thing on here to be fair, it's not as white, is it? Um, you have got a little bit of a yellow glow. Um, and yeah, it's as simple as that, and obviously tweak the results to fit your own. Um, I think purple's a bit dark because obviously you want that emissive. I mean, you can see it's got a bit of a purple glow, but it's not it's not going to be as effective unless you're using something like um, pink and, and um, white as an example. Maybe if we use like, let's change it up. Maybe if we use like um, a light blue instead, make it nice and light and apply that. And then we'll have a look and see what that looks like um, in the world, see if it looks any better. And as you can see, wow, just changing it to a very lighter color has already made a huge difference. <laughs> wow. Um, so, yeah, so very, very simple, very easy of, um, thing to do, but um, also just gives you a, a very cool um, looking um, material to use in your games. And um, the other thing as well is, uh, the reason it's moving at separate paces is because I've slowed this down, but... Um, just so in case anyone's wondering why it's not matching this material um, and if you've played this game because uh, again it's, it's up on itch.io at the moment you've you notice that I've also moved it down as well so you, this will move down uh, once you press the correct buttons um, it opens the door up and, and it looks very effective with this material um, so yeah lots of lots of cool little things there um, I will cover a few more things from this game. If anyone has any questions and wants me to um, 
cover anything particular from this game, uh, please just let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to cover that. Uh, let's return this. Oh, and the reason this is on the other side, one last thing, sorry. The reason this isn't on the other side is because I haven't ticked two-sided. Um, apply that, and then when we go back into the world, it should be on both sides of the material now. There you go. Um, it's on both sides now. Um, so yeah, so if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Uh, if you want me to cover anything else from this video game, uh, also put that in the comments and I will be more than happy to do that. Um, and if you haven't played this game already, I will put the link to itch.io uh, in, the, in the description. So go and check it out and um, don't forget to fill out the survey monkey. And um, yeah, thank you so much guys. Much love uh, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.